everybody, hello and welcome back to the channel, welcome back for another strategies, tactics and boosts video. We are uh, a few days before Christmas, we have the Christmas event of course and today we are going to uh, talk about the opening and final round races. We have eight tracks, we have rain, we have high temperatures, we have a lot of things to see about uh, these eight races. First of all, let's go and see where we are racing this weekend. We start in uh, Bahrain okay give me one second okay we start in Bahrain and Sakir Desert after that we go to Italy Monza where we see that we have 35 we can get up to 35 degrees Celsius this could be an issue for going three laps with softs. Then we have Australia, Melbourne with 50% chance of rain, Miami with 62% chance of rain, and Silverstone with 40% chance of rain. Then we go back to dry races, Imola, which as you can see, can have temperatures up to 40 degrees, and here for sure is going to be uh, three laps with softs is going to be an issue. Over 30 degrees, we cannot go three laps with softs, even if we have drivers with 95, 96 uh, tire management. So this is going to be, uh, we have to be careful about it. And the same goes to Jeddah. As you can see, up to 36 degrees uh, Celsius. This means if we go over 30, we have to think about softs uh, pro and mainly in the last stint, but we'll see about it uh, in our uh, strategy review when it comes to Jeddah. And finally, we have Montreal uh, with a very cold weather. Uh, one, uh, zero to one. Uh, so we don't have issues there. Don't forget Leclerc, Voyage and Sigma are boosted assets with 10% and yeah, let's okay, give me a minute. Yeah, let's start with uh, with our strategies. First of all, we have Bahrain, Sakir Desert, no high temperatures, easy decision. If you don't like, if you have very big five, six uh, seconds pit stop, then maybe you should consider one pit, four, four mediums, even four, four hards. If you cannot do it with mediums, if you are at the beginning of the game with very low level drivers, then maybe the, it would be a good solution for you. But if you have decent drivers and a decent car, then two pit stops, uh, all softs, two, three, three, and three, three, two, of course, uh, is the best choice and the fastest strategy here in Bahrain. Don't forget, Bahrain is a combo track. Best choices are Mer Lion and Hunin if you start at the top of the grid. Now, if you start a little further back and you need to have good race start, then you can choose either speed or uh, cornering boosts depending on your car setup. If you are lacking speed, then go with Street Shark or Firework. If you are lacking, um, if you are lacking cornering, then go, then go with Koopa, Hook, Gerald, and you could easily go 
one of the best choices would be now Kavai because uh, we are with if we start a little bit further back because as you can see with Kavai we will boost our race start and we want to boost our race start when we start P7, P8, P10, P12, P15 we want to boost our race start but it's plus 20 in cornering and we are doing two pit stops so plus 15 in our pit time this means faster pit stop we gain time even with this so maybe now with the boosted boosts maybe Kavai is even better choice than Koopa in strategies with two pit stops so consider it and try it Kavai is now after the boost uh, that uh, after the the boost being boosted Kavai is for sure one of the best boosts we can use okay Monza easy one <laughs> this is an easy one 4-4 four, four hearts of course uh, a safe strategy starting wherever you want in the grid P24 or P1 this is a very good solution although if we are P1 P2, P3, P5, P6 two pit stops and softs are now a better strategy a faster strategy and you will see that we can have all comp if we get uh, the temperature over 30 degrees which is might will might be the case uh, during the weekend then this means that the three lap uh, stints could actually be with soft with mediums maybe the middle stint can be with soft with a lot of conserving so we can have a full ERS for our last stint but our last stint would be 100% with medium I said again if the temperature is over 30 degrees if it isn't and we have a driver with a good tire management we can go with softs so when we are at the top and maybe in the middle of the grid middle top is let's say P10 and above then uh, two pit stops uh, might be the best choice all the variations of two pit stops you see 233, 332, uh, stints of three laps with mediums or with softs. You decide according the tire management of your drivers and the temperature what you are going to choose. Now, next one is Australia. And yeah, if we are at the back of the grid with high and probably with uh big times in pit stops then one pit is probably the best choice the fastest way one pit stop equals things medium hard or hard hard but if you are in the middle or at the top of the grid then and you are not afraid of two pit stops then the fastest way to race in Australia is two pit stops, all softs, three, three, two, or two, three, three. Uh, for your drivers, it will, it works perfectly, and it's the fastest uh, way you can go. Now, if it rains, but the bots will probably, most of the bots will pit at lap five. Some will pit at lap four. So. We pit at lap four, so we do the undercut and push to get close to the bots that haven't pit and they will pit at lap five. We overtake them and that's how we gain positions uh, in Australia when it's a full wet race. So 4-4 four, four for both our drivers or 5-3 if we have a driver at the top three, maybe top four. Uh, by lap 5 next one is Miami uh, again with chances of rain 
here it's simple two pit stops soft soft medium two two three uh for one driver and exactly the opposite three two two medium soft you see here uh medium if you want to push and you don't have enough tire management but if you have over 85 tire management then medium soft soft it's okay you can do it and you can be aggressive and push the red button uh, even in the last stint now if it rains the bots when it rains they go three three one so we don't want to pit at lap three and at lap six we want to avoid the traffic so we can go two two three we pit at lap two at lap four and that's it always before the bots if we are at the top we can go three two two so we pit with the bots the first time but we are at the top of the grid p1 p2 p3 so we don't care and then we go two two there is no meaning in go three three one three two two is even uh, it's much faster and of course if you are at the back or in the middle of the grid then you can go two two three and your second driver can go two three two so again you avoid uh the bots they pit at lap three and at lap six you pit at lap two and at lap five and yeah the in the first thing you have to make a gap so you can pit at the same uh at the same lap if you can do it it's okay and then you don't care about the next one because um you will pit in different uh in different laps and then again yeah you will pit in different uh laps so it will be okay you you only have to care about the first one three to two is basically if you are at the top because if you are not at the top and go three to two you will uh stuck probably stuck in traffic in pit uh, in the pit lane and lose positions lose time and we we know how frustrating can be uh the, the traffic in the pit lane so only if you are at the top of the grid with this strategy our third race with rain is silverstone a very fast track it's a very fast track generally we uh, and being uh slow uh in sector one mainly in the beginning of sector two we are talking about uh corners three four five six and seven this is where it's it gets very slow um uh, the rest of the race is a very fast race fast corners so we need speed here and some cornering but we need speed here of course uh one pit stop is a very good strategy four three three four hard medium and medium hard but again especially if we are in the middle or at the top of the grid then two pit stops no brainer it's the fastest strategy here two two three soft soft medium and exactly the, the opposite three two two for our second driver now if it rains the bots are going to pit uh at lap four we would like to avoid lap four pitting at lap four so three four is our best bet if we are not at the top of the grid and two three two is an alternative it's a little bit slower because we go with two pits doing two pit stops and we cannot gain time because everybody's on wets we cannot use a faster compound so it's a little bit difficult uh, to execute this strategy 
it would be better to go both drivers 3-4, create a gap so you don't have stacking in the pit lane and 2-3-2 two, two is an alternative if you cannot do it. If you go with this pit stop, with this uh, strategy, then probably you should go with tune in and get the maximum uh, pit time, uh, so uh, pit time uh, boosting, which is 25. This will gain probably one third uh, of the pit of, of the extra pit. One second is one second. So uh, if you go with in a wet race uh, with this strategy, then yes, tune in would be your best choice here. And of course, if we are at the top of the grid, we don't think about it. 4-3, uh, we beat with the bots, uh, but before the bots, so we don't care about the traffic. And uh, this is how we separate our two, our two drivers, and we are uh, okay with that. Okay, so next one. Imola. A nice track, a difficult one, and even more difficult when it has 40 degrees, because it uh, we cannot use softs, we cannot use, uh, we lose the advantage of going by going two pit, uh, with two pit stops and using the faster compound, uh, we gain an advantage. If it goes over 30, then we lose this advantage. We cannot use soft tires uh, with uh, in a three-lap stint. Uh, so it's getting even more difficult. Of course, a safe strategy. The safest strategy is for four hard hard, as you can see. The fastest strategy is to pit stops. And I believe it is going to be even if uh, it's over 30 and we need to use mediums. And by the way, uh, the middle stint, as we said in Monza, the same goes in Imola. It can be done with softs, but with a lot of conserve. So we can, uh, we will be fast with softs, although we will be conserving a lot but uh, we will recharge our ERS for, uh, and get it ready for our last stint with mediums so we can be aggressive and push as much as we want. Here, probably again, combo boosts, Merlion and Tunin, the best if you don't need race start boosting and pit time boosting essential, doing two pit stops we will need pit time boosting, so probably Merlion, Tunin, or Kavai would be the or Wood would be the best choices for this track, especially with such high temperatures where we are going to lose time because we are going to use mediums. As you can see, we we have different uh, different variations of. Uh, two pit stops here we are choosing mediums in the in the middle uh, in the middle stint because we conserve a lot in the first stint so we have full boosted uh, full charge ERS uh, for the second stint it's where we push and then we go in our last stint two laps with softs easily done two laps with softs even at 40 degrees and whatever ERS uh, we have uh, left. If it's over 40 degrees, this strategy cannot be executed. At least the last stint would be should be 
with mediums. This, this uh, choice, soft, soft, first two stints can be done, but both uh, first, uh, first and second stint would be with a lot of conserve and there is no uh, use having our power unit fully charged 100% uh, after the end of the first stint and not use it in the second stint. So it's better to go back to this one and use this. Of course, if it's less than 30 degrees, yeah, this is the best choice. We can go in Imola. Zeda, another track with possibility of, with chances of high temperatures where we can have issues with our tires. For me, the best two strategies are two, two, three, soft, soft, hard, and three to two, hard, soft, soft, but with over 30 degrees. Of course, even if it's not over 30 degrees and you don't have good tire management, then the last tint should be with mediums, so you can push the red button. But if it's over 30 degrees, probably we should go with mediums anyway to be able to press the red button if uh, we have an opponent uh, behind us who is trying to overtake. So um, be careful with the tires and the tire choice. If it's over 30 degrees and you are not sure that your driver can uh, achieve two laps with softs and be able to push, then go for mediums in the last stint. Uh, you will be much faster by using mediums and, and pressing the red button whenever you want than using softs and conserving all the time just to make two laps with uh, the softs. Alternatively, you can go like this uh, with three pit stops, but I believe that this is an inferior uh, strategy. This is a little bit slower than the two pit strategy. Uh, so, only if you are afraid uh, of the hards, afraid that you're going to be slow, which isn't the case, believe me, Zeta is a very fast track, even with hards, so don't be afraid of them. But if you are afraid of them and you want only softs, then this is the only way. One extra pit stop. If you go like this and you don't need race start, uh, boosting, then go for uh, pit time boosting because here uh, you're doing three pits. So yeah, it's one and a half second faster uh, if you use tune in. As simple as that. And finally, eh, before we go to Canada, but I would still insist give the first choice to these two strategies and only as an alternative these uh, the three pit strategy. So Canada, a dry race, of course we can go 5-3 hard soft uh, and 4-4 four, four is the safest soft medium and a very fast strategy, it is, but my best and fastest choice, like in Australia, um, is two pit stops, all softs, two, three, three. We can push as much as we want. Uh, we are very fast. The bots are using mediums and hards, so we can overtake them easily because they are going slower and they are with uh, inferior uh, compounds. So 233 and 332, or maybe both drivers 332, if you can avoid stacking, do it. It's uh, even better. So, uh, and again, I will say if you need, if you don't need uh, to go using Q 
Koopa or Firework or Street Shark, then go for Merlion, TuneIn, Kavai, Wood, Boost with uh, pit time boosting. When we go with two pit stops, the better, the best choice is uh, to go with pit time boosting. Of course, if we can afford it, if we are liking a race start, if we are starting P15, P, P12, uh, then we need to boost our race start. We need probably to boost uh, our cornering. Then yeah, first choice is Koopa. Um, or if we need to boost our race start and speed, then we go Street Shark or Firework. But if it's this is not the case, then yes, go for uh, go for pit time boosting into stop strategies. And of course, if we want, I said it at the beginning of the video, if we want race start boosting and cornering then Kavai and P-Time uh, boosting, then Kavai is the best choice for us. Okay, this is the end. So, uh, give me one second. Nice. So, this is it. <coughs> Don't forget what I always like to say, that this is just a guide you have to adjust this guide to your needs and to your setup. What, what's your inventory? What, uh, which are your drivers? Which is the best setup you have? And if, when you decide, when you uh, decide uh, your two drivers and your six car parts, then look what you are missing and choose your boosts accordingly. Uh, this is the best way to approach all the advices all uh, us content creators creators are giving you um, okay let's go and see again our tracks Bahrain Monza with chances of Let's go, let's see it. Uh, Bahrain uh, and Montreal are the two tracks with no issues, rain or high temperatures. Then we have Monza and Imola and Zeta with chances of high temperatures. So be careful there. Before you start the race, see the weather uh, see the temperatures that we, you are going to have during the race and decide your strategy accordingly. And of course, we have Melbourne, Miami and Silverstone with chances of rain, 50, 62 and 40. It's going to be, <coughs> it's going to be a very interesting event. I believe we're going to see uh many players losing points dropping points here and there there are a lot of traps uh, there we have three uh possible wet races we have high temperatures we have difficult uh tracks like monza like imola like zeda so um it's going to be a very interesting event um, i want to see if uh okay apart from series 12 players where they probably have everything maxed out and it's much easier there to get a 376 i really want to see uh at the lower series who is going to do 20 perfect races uh okay so don't forget in the description of this video you will find my discord server link join and join my discord server and there you can find all these, tra uh, these strategies and the strategies for all the other uh, tracks uh, uploaded there and of course you can come there and ask me whatever you want um, subscribe to the channel smash the like button and stay tuned cause 
the Saturday live streaming is coming with the opening and the final round so don't miss uh, out on that thank you for watching I wish we help you we are going to help you with uh, this video and yeah I'm expecting some feedback uh, with these strategies thank you so much have great races this weekend see you in the next video bye everybody <laughs>